How's everybody doing? Today I'm gonna to be talking about how to fish a weightless worm on cover for bass, especially when they're super finicky. Um, I mean, you, as you can tell, weightless worm right here, or some call it a floating worm. And guys, this is, this is really a great way that you can catch a lot of fish, very productive way, especially when these fish are super lethargic. Um, even when they're super active, you can catch them on it. I, I believe anytime, any conditions, you'll be able to catch them on this bait and it's gonna help you guys put more fish in the boat when you're on the water. So today, uh, first thing I wanna talk about is kind of the setup that I got going on for this. So I do have this on 15 pound Seaguar fluorocarbon. It's actually the Invisex, which I believe is the best line out there. Um, I've used it for, I believe, five or six years now. Absolutely, um, hands down, my favorite line. And the row that I have, is actually a 6 6 to 1 gear ratio concept a by 13 fishing on a fake chrome seven foot medium heavy fast action um, most of the time when I'm throwing worms or weightless worms I think the most versatile rod is like a seven foot medium heavy and that's most of the time that's what I'm going to be using you can throw this on a spinning rod as well because a lot of people aren't going to be able to throw this on a bait caster this is super super light you're gonna to have to get used to it if you're gonna throw it on a bait caster just me personally I don't use spinning rods much so this is um, my go-to for when I'm using a worm or a crawl or especially a weightless worm or a weightless Senko even. Pretty much that's the setup right there. As you can tell, I got a bubble gum worm on right now. You guys can use any worm you'd like. You know, green pumpkin's perfect. Watermelon sea is perfect. Um, watermelon red flake is perfect. But I do have a bubble gum. You can also put like a methylate on or a yellow. Um, those work great as well. And just a regular uh, straight worm hook. Simple as that. When I'm out here on the river, guys, I, I tend to not spend a lot of money on the tackle and the hooks and weights i'm using because there is a lot of toothy fish out here there's a lot of mud fish a lot of gar so i tend not to spend too much money on you know the terminal tackle but let's go ahead and get out here so i can show you guys some tips on the water so guys as you can tell right here a bunch of cypress trees a bunch of cover in the water and i'm pretty much going to be fishing this for it um right on that cover and there's different ways that people fish this bait guys i mean I, this isn't in particular for a floating worm this is for a weightless worm in general you know, you could fish a Senko the same way. Um, what a lot of people do with a floating worm, is they'll throw their bait out there, let it hit the water, and they'll kind of pop it. So what they'll do is they'll kind of walk it. As you guys can tell by my hand motion, I'm just popping that bait. I will give it, I mean, it just depends on the day. You know, some days you're gonna be working it like this, super fast. Some days you're gonna be like pop, pop, pause. Similar to a fluke. If you, any of you guys have thrown a weightless fluke, you guys know, I mean, that's that's pretty much how you're gonna work a fluke. Just pop that bait all around this cover. That's how most of the people on the internet are gonna preach to you. That's how they're gonna say to work it. In my opinion, especially towards today, these fish are gonna be a little bit slower. So I'm definitely dead sticking that thing or I'm slowly creeping that thing. So I'll throw it on the cover, literally just wait. I'll sit there and wait and I'll wait for one to pick up on it. And as you guys can tell, I mean, this thing's weightless. It doesn't have weight on there. So when you throw it onto that cover, just like that, I usually put, pull a little bit of line out so it lets that thing sink. Because if you mess around through rod much with that super light worm, I'm telling you, it's gonna pull it away from that cover. And that's the last thing you want. You want this bait on the cover. So I, most of the time, I don't even check my bait. As you can tell, there's a lot of slack in my line. I'm kind of just letting that worm sit there. This is if I'm dead sticking it. And every once in a while, I kind of reel up just a little bit and check on it. And I'll just lift up. And you'll be able to tell if there's a fish on there. You'll just feel weight or you'll kind of feel them barely tick on it. As you guys can tell, the fish had blew up on that tree right there. Just throw that bait out there. Let it sink all the way. We're in very shallow water. Uh, maximum depth is probably about seven foot right here. As you can tell, I'm not pulling my line all the way slack. You know, I'm just reeling it up just a little bit to where I can feel what's going on. So if a fish hits that, it might knock slack in my line. I'm not reeling it up all the way because what it's gonna do, there's not a weight on that bait, it's just gonna come right back toward you. And you want that bait to sit in that particular area on that structure as long as possible. Three pounds. That's a 
best one we've gotten today. Three pounder, golly. Got pretty eyes. She does have pretty eyes. On the tree. God, look at that one. Like a fat one, ain't he? Wow. As you guys can tell, I mean, there's there's a stump just randomly in the water right here. It's very isolated. It's not like these trees are, you know, lay down like that. You know, this is very, very by itself right out here in the middle. I mean, that's, that's usually you can catch a big fish off some isolated cover like this. So if you see something like this that you need to throw at it, I want it, I want it to skip over it. Pretty one right there. It's very pretty fish. Help me. My persona. Let's. And if it's true, I'm. <laughs> 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 Overall guys, I hope you guys enjoyed this little quick tip video on how to fish a weightless worm around structure, mostly trees and um, cypress trees and lay downs. I wanted to throw that mixture in since I'm river fishing. A lot of you guys may be river fishing, but if you guys enjoy these quick tip videos that are super short, you know, packed with information, a few fish catches, be sure to smash that like button. Also comment below on a type of video that you guys want me to go over throw some tips over and come out on the water and try it out but thank you guys so much for the support be sure to subscribe and make sure you hit that little bell so since you post notifications every time i post a video and i'll catch you guys in the next video I'm driving the moon, walking in the sky with some shooters. We jump inside of the Buick. You dug a half in the Rugas, a couple choppers, acoustic, and the guitar when the music is. I'm alive and I use it. It's stuck inside of the cutest. I never lie, but the truth is I'm fing tired of these losers. And all my life, want the food when it's summer time and the juice. But I'd rather die than the losers. I'm out of time for I lose it. Let's try to chop with the movement. The movement. Walk in the trap like a boss. Oh, how you know I'm dripping with the stars? Oh, pretty with a face.